Giving details of the implementation of the Mioga program, the president said government injected 260 billion shillings as seed capital, noting that by July 2021, 213 billion shillings had been dispersed, representing over 81% of the planned disbursement. Museven's comments came on the backdrop of findings by the Parliamentary COVID Task Force that said there were glaring discrepancies in the expenditure of Emioga funds. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, has since asked legislators to investigate the implementation of the program in their constituencies. According to Betty Nambose's findings, the Mioga project was a total maze for the money. Well, it is total maze. And I don't have, I can't even blame these people who shared this money out. They were, it was a temptation. They sent the money during campaign time. And people were called around to form associations and circles for only one purpose, to get money from government. So indeed, they organized themselves into various groups and got the money from government. First of all, they were made to spend a lot in order to get this money. Namboza says those that receive the money cannot afford to take it back as one of the requirements for the project because their businesses were affected by the lockdown. Most of these people who took the money were petty small traders, but their businesses were closed off. Take an example of people with restaurants. They, have, they were made to organize themselves into a circle for those people with restaurants. Among them were people who were doing outside catering. With no functions taking place, that business is closed. According to her, there was a desert of success ventures because money was given to people who could not manage the circles. Money was placed in the hands of people who don't have any knowledge on how to manage a bank. Circles are small banks. Circles are village, are local banks. What, what is called a circle is a local bank. The Mioga initiative that started last year targets Ugandans, especially in the informal sector, who come together in form of circles under 18 clusters. Simon Chris Makanga, CTV, PM Edition.